It is a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Mauricio Shogun Hua. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is 29, Hua is 38. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio Shogun. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 Can you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is? He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponents off of it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head 
a lot of times those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Just unable to quite find that reach. Big elbow there, Lance. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Look at a board and trying to shut the liver down. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Straight right hand, no good. And they clinch once again. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. And he landed the right hand there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Got the single collar tie. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. No! Cupid! Full mount. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, arm arm. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks, but get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. The ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. 40 seconds left. Oh. Shogun gets caught with that punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Final seconds. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready? 
Second round underway. Just out of range with the big right hand. Clinch. Pula gets caught with that punch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Missed with that attempt. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, no. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, collar tie. Oh, straight right. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He won't finish this fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, big elbow. Nice punch by Shogun Wood. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Pua gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Quick leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Shogun Wood. It's not over. Just misses with a left hook there. Pua gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Kick lands for him there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Single collar tie now. Clipped with a left hand counter. Again, back into this position. Nice straight punch. All right, single collar tie now. Left punch is true. Straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always better. A single collar tie there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Hua. 
And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. That was a thudding leg kick. That Big knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Lands with a right hand. Well, Hua's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with... What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hua going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Sneaky head kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hand punches the play. Good one. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a man was right on that. Run. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it.
might be out. Separate. Big off the punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch to the clinch. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the car uh, right to the target. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at seven seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Mauricio Shogun Hula. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. That you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.